One night I had a dream that I was eating a giant marshmallow, and when I woke up, my pillow was gone. Then the next night, I had a nice dream that all my cares and all my troubles just disappeared. And when I woke up, my wife was gone. The other night, my wife and I went out to dinner, and I ordered a big steak. And the waiter said, we cook all our steaks well done, so that it kills all the things that can make you sick. So I said, okay, fine. Then after dinner, my wife and I went home. We go into the apartment. I said to my wife, you mind getting in the oven? She says, why do you want me to get in the oven? I says, well, it worked with the steak. Ever since this COVID-19 thing started, my wife covers her face religiously. These are the best days of my life. My wife took a good look at me. She said, why don't you shave your cheeks? You look like a bum. I says, well, why don't you shave your bum so I can see your cheeks? I went to the employment office the other day looking for a job. She says, well, what can you do? I says, well, I can't do anything physical because of all my ailments, all my medical problems and my ailments. She says, well, my supervisor's retiring pretty soon. She says, can you just walk around and yell at people acting like an asshole all day? I says, how much does it pay? The other day, this guy asked me if I was working. So I says, yeah. I says, for $20 a week, I help women get dressed and undressed backstage at the theater. And he says, well, $20 ain't much. And I says, well, that's all I could afford. The other night I went to a restaurant, I got a bowl of soup. There was a hair in my soup. So I called the waiter over. I says, waiter, there's a hair in my soup. He says, that's not a hair. He says, that's a hairline crack. I says, oh, I got to remember that next time I work at the restaurant. I'm a waiter too. So the next night I went to work as a waiter and I served somebody a bowl of soup and the lady called me over and she says, waiter, there's an eyelash in my soup. I said, lady, that's not an eyelash. That's a crack air. When I was a kid, everybody used to laugh at me because I said I wanted to be a comedian. Well, now I'm a comedian and nobody's laughing now. The other night I was at a bar and I asked this girl, I says, what are you doing Saturday night? And she says, I'm gonna commit suicide. So I said, well, what about Friday? The other day I went into the bakery to get some bread. The girl there says, all we got is day old bread. I says, well, what if I come in tomorrow? She says, well, that'll be day old bread too. We always make our bread the day before. I had to go to New York City the other day. And you know, hotels are real expensive in New York. So I went in, I thought I got the cheapest hotel I could find. I said, how much for a room for tonight? He said, 150 bucks. I says, whoa. I says, don't you have anything cheaper? He says, well, I, I got a room for 50 bucks a night, but you got to make your own bed. I says, yeah, I'll take that. So he gave me some wood and a hammer and nails. I went into Mario's Pizza Palace the other night to get a whole pizza. He says, if I slice it into four slices, it's four bucks. He says, if I slice it into eight slices, it's eight bucks. So I said, well, don't slice it at all. He had to think about that one. Guy walks into the bank the other day. Puts on a mask, he goes up to the cashier, pulls out a gun, he goes, give me $50,000 in small bills. Cashier says, do you have an account with us? He said, no, but if I open one up, do I get like a toaster or something? My wife said to me, how are we supposed to have a happy Thanksgiving with this little turkey you bought? Look at all that extra room in the oven. I said, why don't you get in there with it? We'll have a Merry Christmas. My wife said, go out and get us a turkey for Thanksgiving. So I said, okay. So I went out and I brought home my brother-in-law. The other day, my daughter asked me, she says, can you get me a horse for Christmas? So I looked over at my wife and I looked back at my daughter and I says, 
eh, one nag's enough. The other day I took my kid into the store to see Santa Claus. So he went up and sat on his lap, and he said, Daddy, Santa's breath smells like yours after you've had a few beers. And I says, wow, I'm really surprised. I thought he'd be into the hard stuff. You know how Santa Claus fattens himself up every year for Christmas? You ever wonder why there's one less reindeer every year? <laughs>